This video covers the purchase or acquisition of a gun. To acquire a gun, click on the Transactions Guns button. Select the Gun Purchase tab and click the New button. Enter your password. In this case my password is simply the number 1 and this will now take me to the Find Vendor drop-down box. Now if you've dealt with this vendor before you can select his name from the drop-down list and all his details will be automatically filled in as you can see. If however this is the first time you've dealt with this person you simply need to fill in these fields as you can see. Now moving on to the gun side let's say that the serial number of this gun is 123456 and it's a 12 gauge shotgun so we select 12 from there from the type we select shotgun and let's say it's a Beretta and it's the model 486 Parallelo with a 26 inch barrel and an OCHP choke. The gun status is second hand the date acquired is today and let's say we're paying 2500 for it. We can, if we wish, put some comments in here. And to complete the transaction, we simply click the Accept button. You will see a confirmation that the record has been saved and an invitation to print the police advice note if required. And to do that, you simply click this button here. And that's really all there is to it in terms of acquiring a gun. There are some other features of this screen that I should cover. If you've purchased the Royal Mail postcode software, addresses can be filled in by entering the postcode and house code and house number. If you tick the no license required box, the required the relevant license fields will be disabled. This is useful if you're purchasing an air rifle or an air gun or any other item that does not require a license. If the gun comes with a moderator the sound moderator field should be ticked. If you select storage as the uh, status of the gun the default weekly storage fee will be displayed here. If you're entering a number of identical guns the repeat description facility is very useful as you will only need to enter the serial number of each gun and click the repeat description button. And that's all there is to it. Back to the main menu.